the uh, dollar amount of $137.99. Same thing for August, we're gonna say it's gonna take 10,000 hours times $14 per hour means we have 140,000. We could copy this formula across. I'm just gonna do it a few times just to get the calculation of the formula in. This equals the 10,290 times the dollars per uh, hour. And we could sum them up uh, two different ways here. I'm gonna sum up the total hours for the quarter equals the sum of the total hours for the quarter for July, August, and September. And that'll give us 30,043 uh, hours for the quarter. If we multiply those hours times, of course, the rate per hour, the budget for the quarter in dollars, 420,599. That should tie out if we add up the dollar amount for July, August, and September, which is 420,599. So now we can continue on to the factory overhead budget. And the factory overhead budget is usually pretty straightforward in a master budget such as this. So we'll go through this fairly quickly. Uh, we, there's gonna be two ty types of the overhead. We got the variable and the fixed portion. Uh, in order to calculate the variable portion, oftentimes we're going to have some added information such as a, a very variable factory overhead rate. So in this case, if we take a look at our inf information, we have a predetermined variable overhead rate per labor hour. So remember what that means is that we're basically using the labor in order to help us to allocate the uh, overhead. So that's gonna be some kind of averaging method for us to allocate the overhead. We'll talk about how we come up with that number at, at a later time. In a master budget like this, they're gonna have to give us some format in which we will allocate uh, the, the, the overhead. And so in this case, we have a variable portion which is gonna be the 2.6 times the um, labor hours. And then we're also gonna have a fixed portion, in this case, just being the depreciation of the 21,000. That one's not gonna change. It's gonna be fixed, same rate over each month. So in order to, to work this problem, we're gonna have the total labor hours needed because that's our base on which we're gonna allocate the variable portion. And so we're gonna, we're gonna get that from the uh, direct labor budget where we just calculated that and so we have the 97 uh, 9,793 for July in August and you can copy this across of course but I'm just gonna do it three times so we can see exactly where it's coming from August we got it that 10,000 and September equals the 10,250 so those are the total uh, direct total labor hours needed per month and then we're gonna multiply that times the variable factory overhead rate which is given to us in the problem so here it's given at uh, 2.6. So we're gonna say 2.6, and that's gonna be all the way across this, uh, our dollars that we're basically gonna allocate. Now, I want to point out here that that 2.6 does not mean 2.6 per hour as if we're paying it in wages. This, this, although we're using labor hours, the 2.6 is allocating overhead. Labor is just a way that we're gonna to use to allocate the overhead. So if we multiply that out then, we're gonna say that this equals for July, the uh, total labor hours times the factory overhead rate. It's the predetermined factory overhead rate. And then in uh, August, we have the number of labor hours times the predetermined factory overhead rate. Yes, you could copy this across, but I'm just gonna do the calculation so we can see it three times. September times the predetermined overhead rate. And then we could total this up. We could equal the sum of the variable overhead for July, August, and September. All right, then we're gonna have the budgeted fixed overhead. And in this problem, the fixed overhead is just gonna be this 20, 21,000 of depreciation. So that's gonna be straightforward. Fixed, fixed costs are pretty easy for us to budget for. They're gonna be the same each month. So that's pretty easy for us. So we're just gonna say, all right, that's 21,000 per month. We know it's the depreciation. It looks like it's a straight line depreciation. So 21,000 each month, we're gonna sum that up equals the sum of for the quarter of July, August, September, third quarter, we have the 63. So then if we add that up, that'll give us the total overhead for July. So this equals the variable portion plus the fixed portion will give us the total of 46,461 for July, August. Yes, you can copy this across, but I'm gonna do it just so we can see it a few times. We've got the variable portion plus the fixed portion and then, ooh, not times, not times, delete equals the variable portion plus the fixed portion tab. And then uh, we have the September variable portion plus fixed portion tab. And once again, we should be able to do this two different ways. We could do the same calculation, the variable portion for the quarter 
plus the fixed portion for the quarter, or we can add up July, August, and September quarters for the same 141, 111 in the formula bar here.